So now we will learn about correct ion, which is the N ion. First of all, in order to fill in the electron, we need to calculate number of electron to be filled in. So you can see that for chlorine, we have 17. You can see in the periodic table, it's actually 17, your atomic number. So plus 1, because it actually received 1 electron. Now we have 18 electron to be filled in. After that, step 2 is actually to draw the energy level diagram. So from here, we have three principles to be obey, which is your Pauli, Albaf, and Hans rule. Okay, so we follow up with Albaf rule. According to Albaf, we need to free an electron from the lowest orbital first. So we fill in the 1s first before go to 3s, 2p, 3s, and then 3p again. So we fill in the electron. For Pauli rules, you can see that two electrons actually have two different spin. One's going up, one going down. According to Pauli, all the electrons must have different quantum number. Then we move on to Hans rule. You can see that according to Hans rule, we have to fill in the electron singly first before pairing it up. So you can count that all the 18 electrons have been filled up. So now I will teach you how to transform the energy level diagram to orbital box notation and SPDF. So from side to side, we actually can compare. You can see here, I actually transformed the energy level diagram into orbital box notation. For orbital box notation, you have to make sure that you have label the 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, and 3p to show each individual box notation. Then, to make our life easier, we actually can change it into SPDF as well. So you can see my answer will be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then 3p6.